Bartender. Yes, what can I do for you? Do you have any soda pop? <laughs> I see a cultist has made a video and uploaded it. Contrarian atheist and militant non-believers. I have not looked at the video. I thought we would share it for the first time together. As for militant non-believers, I have no idea. I guess I lack belief in the gods, therefore I just have to go in camping. Kayaking. I have no idea. Let's find out. Hey guys, Christian J over at 146. Thanks for watching. So today I want to talk about contrarian atheists and non-believers. Atheists and non-believers. As if the two are different. Okay, let's see what you got. So these are some individuals that I've run into in my life. And actually, I've actually been some of these individuals to certain extents when I was a non-believer. And so these are... You have been some of these individuals to some extent. <clears throat> like the compassionate Martian in Ray Bradbury's The Marsh, uh, Martian Chronicles. You have been some of these individuals. Thorazine can be your friend. But ways of being and ways of relating that I've run into throughout the years and I just... Waves of being, waves of relating. I believe the phrase that you are struggling to find here is accepting reality. Reality! Batshit crazy imagination! Atheist, you and your cults. Wanted to do a, a brief video on them. So, the first uh, type of um, atheist or non believer that I feel like I've run across is are atheists that are atheists because Christianity is in. Christianity is, I, I forget how you did that, in, therefore people lack belief in the gods. Really. So since more people on the planet are Muslims and pretend to follow Islam, therefore there are atheists out there because Islam is more in than Christianity. And so they're just being contrarian. So because they live in a country, let's say most of the viewers here are probably living in North America, Canada. North America, Canada, maybe South America. Canada, North America, dude. Why do I even bother? Maybe South America, Europe, you know, countries and, and you know, nations and regions of the world that have been Christian historically for, you know, some time. So, in countries that are crowned full of Muslims, there are atheists because Islam is more popular. And so, the contrarian thing to do is to go against the culture, it's to go against the grain, it's to be an atheist because, you know, being Christian is the norm. And so I'm gonna rebel, I'm gonna be cool, I'm gonna be an atheist. So, in a country where everybody believes in Santa Claus, it would be cool to not believe in Santa Claus. This is your argument. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go the other way that everyone else isn't going. You know, I'm gonna be the black sheep. I'm gonna be the rebel. Therefore you are saying if nobody out there believes that the gods exist, there would be people out there who would start believing that the gods exist just because the majority don't. And be an atheist. The funny thing is, this type of atheism is really just a reaction to what's going on at the moment. It is not atheism. It is all in your feeble little head. This does not exist out there. People are not doing that. Certainly atheists are not doing that. And it's really more of a, you know, wanting, maybe wanting to be special or wanting to be different. So, people who lack belief in the gods also tend to lack belief that the entire universe was created just for them. And you're saying, oh, these people just want to feel important. They want to be feel different. They want to be special. How many cults out there insist that the entire universe was created for humanity? I want it to be set aside or set apart. You are describing theist, not atheist. Number two, the second kind of atheism that I've run across is an 
There is only one kind of atheist out there. A person who lacks belief that the gods exist. Atheism that takes that position because, again, this is relating to growing up in a country where Christianity is the norm, or a lot, at least many, many people are Christian. It's a tendency to think that the fact that Christianity is the answer is just too easy. Christianity is just too easy. Which is why, by the way, it exists. <sighs> People who lack belief in the gods, i.e. atheists, have absolutely nothing at all to do with your cult at all. It's just too convenient. It's like... The fact that I was born in a country or in a time period when Christianity was just the default religion for so many people and happens to be the right answer. Christianity is just happens to be the right answer. No. I'm sorry. No. There is absolutely nothing in Christianity that can be or has been demonstrated true. It is therefore very unlikely that it is the correct answer. And if you want to know the correct answer, even though you didn't ask, it is... Mormons. The correct answer is Mormon. Did anybody out there get Mormon? Thank you, South Park. And then the third kind of atheist and that I've run across, and this is not an exhaustive list. I was just doing some thinking in the Holy Spirit put upon me some ideas about this particular video, but the third kind is a very militant atheist where they're just really attacking, attacking, attacking Christianity. Yes, there are a tiny few atheists out there who attack Christianity. Maybe one atheist in a million does that. And also attacks all the other cults out there. Islam, Judaism, Hinduism, Jainism, Wicca, all cults out there, militant atheists, the tiny few that exist, attack those cults also. Attacking, you know, you're responsible for genocide and the Middle Ages and, you know, all this, all this sort of stuff. Oh my god, they brought up history. How dare they? And it's just a very militant and very bitter and very abrasive and very attacking form of atheism. That is not a form of atheism. It is a form of human behavior. When you brutalize somebody, when you abuse them, when you persecute and oppress somebody, they get upset. And I think, honestly, that the root of a lot of that is that those atheists, those non-believers, know that there's something more going on here. Dude, a question. United States government is taken over by a, oh, I don't know, Russian Muslim. Just throwing that out there. The United States government is now forcing you to fund mosques out there. They are now forcing you to pay taxation for public schools that teach Islam. And only Islam out there. Would you be a militant Christian? Ditto, atheists. In life, they know that there's a greater power, Yahweh, God. You mean, if they believe that, not know that, nobody out there on the entire planet ever knew or knows that the gods exist. They would not be atheists, silly goose.